Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at uh, getimg.ai. Uh, this is an AI powered tool that offers a suite of features for creating and editing images. It's particularly well suited for generating images from text description uh, prompts. Uh, but it also includes a powerful image editor and a variety of other features. Uh, one of them is the what you see here is a text to image generation. Uh, which allows you to again create text, uh, sorry, images from prompt. You simply provide the description of the image you want. Uh, if there are more parameters that you can um, play with, and you will generate an image that matches the description. You can also choose style uh, and more features we're going to see here in a moment. It also features um, different tools to enhance your photos with prompts. And you can even upload your own photos and kind of rework with them. Feature that many people like uh, to continue and improving or enhance upon already created images that were downloaded or edited elsewhere. But one of the most powerful things that it features are more than 60 stable diffusion based AI models uh, that you can actually play with in different unique styles. We're going to see this again in a moment. You can actually see now me using a prompt to generate an image. I already uploaded an image of a dog I uh, got from uh, uh, Pixabay. And basically I wrote something like make the dog more girly. Uh, here you can see, by the way, the different options that you have to kind of uh, change your style. Uh, if you can choose the aspect ratio, uh, you can choose different parameters, how many images you want. Uh, really nice, uh, really in-depth fine tuning of the results, which in many, by the way, other uh, generative AI uh, text to image you don't have. Or if you, you do have them, you have much less control. Now, when you start, by the way, you're going to get a certain amount of credits we can use for free and test it out. But if you want to do more, of course, you need to pay for it. And of course, all of these tools allow you to basically enhance your creative process. And again, because if you're limited, you need to move to work with another tool. So having more tools in a single place really make things uh, faster, especially the way they're designed to work uh, in synergy with each other. Now, of course, not all the results that I've wanted were, well, made up well, but again, sometimes you need to generate and generate until you get what you want or describe better what you want. This is more important. If you can see the diff uh, different AI models, there are plenty of them to choose from. Uh, you can choose the one that actually fits uh, your style again, because they are trained on different, uh, different set uh, of images and therefore they're good for, depends on the style that you actually want to use or create. If basically I just went with the realistic one because I brought the dog realistic, but you can mix and match and do whatever you like. Now, this is the image editor here, and you can see that I can actually select certain parts of the image and I can just prompt that. This is something similar to uh, what you have in Adobe Photoshop. You can select the area and let the AI just generate over that specific area. And in Photoshop, it's going to create a new layer for you, so it's very comfortable. But here you can actually select an area, and for example, I just wrote blue eyes. And I got the results, not that I like them, but the results uh, here, and a yeah, different one, you can choose between the different options and save them. Here I wrote, for example, just tongue. I thought something going to be bigger, <laughs> but hey, probably I need to generate more. And by the way, when you're using the tool, you can just use one generation. Uh, so it won't actually use lots of credits. Just saying. Here we go. We have a tongue. Now, again, the tool support, I'm going to show you soon the canvas that support also in paint, in out paint. And we can also replace background as well. Uh, but just again, because the background is a specific feature, it already knows how to separate the subject from the background, how to detect a background and apply the prompt. Uh, to generate uh, the content on the background. It doesn't work perfect every single time, of course. Sometimes you need to continue generating, but if you kind of uh, try several times, you might get what you want. But again, you can always improve the prompt as well. So here you go. One of them are actually nice. As you can see, it actually cuts it perfectly. Look at the, the air of the dog. Uh, it's just amazing how accurate it is. Uh, but again, the background itself wasn't that complicated either. And on the right, you can see the AI model, which you can change as well. There are different options for you to choose from. And by the way, when you start the app, we're going to show you uh, kind of an introductor, introductory to the features. Uh, for example, you can see here, like also AI avatars, product shots, style replication, and there's more. And you can also train your own models as well as you can see here. But again, it wasn't, it's not available in the free option. But if you want to use it, you need to go to the paid model, the pro one and you'll be able to turn your own models as well. 
Next one is the AI canvas, which is really cool, kind of a Photoshop-y uh, type of thing. Again, just for generative AI, of course. Uh, basically, you can generate, you can see this rectangle. You can decide to uh, just generate something in that area. All right, you can see here I'm using, by the way, the Stable Diffusion 1.5, which is actually not good for what I wanted to create. So I changed it. So I changed to Realistic Vision uh, 5.1, and then it generated it uh, pretty well. And you can add another area and let it generate. Now here you can do a in paint and out paint as well because this is just the regular generation. It just generated an image in that particular area. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to do some uh, out painting in a moment. So if you look at the top, you can see out paint. Yes, generate out paint and edit. So if you choose out paint, it will fill in base again on the context of what's in the image. All right. So if I'm just writing, for example, tennis court and just put the rectangle near the top you can create the size of course change it and create the size that you like keep in mind that i do uh, speed things up so again in reality it's going to be uh, slower and here are different options that kind of are aligned of course with the image itself the context of the image now there's some uh, restrictions for example i tried to put on fire but it didn't work so uh, it didn't give me an error though so i think that it just didn't want to do something like that uh, but this was kind of weird like fire it should make fire anyway that happened now in my opinion one of the coolest feature is that you can use is the edit you can do find and replace the different modes find and replace is really cool uh, because you can actually replace different subject in the image uh, it does a pretty decent job but far from being perfect uh, but for example, if I want to, you can actually select the area and sell in this area, let's change the docs to iPhone. iPhone was actually turned out to be terrible. So it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna show you uh, cat. So I wanna change those dogs to cats. Find and replace instead of text in image. So let's take a look. Again, I'm just keeping things uh, up so it'd be faster. And you can see, <laughs> yeah, it looks a bit <laughs> terrible, but cool, super cool. Look at that with shadows and everything. And instead of the dogs, we have cats. Kind of, the right one doesn't look like a cat, but well, amazing, huh? So again, this is just a quick look at uh, getimg.ai. So make sure to visit if you like what you see. You have some free credits, you can try it out. Uh, overall, looks very promising, putting lots of tools in a single place. And yeah, overall, really done well with lots of options for you to play with. Highly recommend it. Make sure to check it out.